Hi there, Sagittarius. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius for the week of the 21st. If this one isn't resonating with you so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon sign and your Venus sign. Moon is emotions. Venus is how we show up in relationships. You may want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. If you are a cross watcher, meaning that you're involved with the Sag, keep in mind that the energies here could be reversed or flip-flopped. Just interpret this reading as it makes sense to you. If you would like your own private reading, all of that info is down below in the description box. My least expensive is 20 for a quick question, I do a $50 reading that's a lot like the ones I post here on YouTube, where it's a deep dive into a relationship or a situation. And I also have a $75 10 question reading for a really complicated situation that you need to get to the bottom of. Uh, if someone reaches out saying that they're me and asks if you want a reading, it's not me. Spoiler alert. I don't do that. Uh, there are scammers pretending to be YouTube uh, tarot readers, so just block that person and run away. <laughs> um, if you're one of when the pendant that you see in the upper right-hand corner, it's clear quartz with black tourmaline in it. Very cleansing, very clearing, um, very much about like protecting you. All of that info is, you guessed it, down below in the description box. If you would like the extended reading, you can get it by clicking the join button that's just above the description box. Uh, that gives you access to every single extended reading for every single sign for an entire month for 10 bucks. If you're on an iPhone, it won't show up because Google and Apple are having a fight. All right, um, here's the overall energy. I'm also gonna pull some cards for your person I'll clarify everything in real time with the, I think it's the Modern Witches Tarot. This is the Light Seer's Tarot that I'm using right now. And this is kind of a tough one here. So we have some stuff from the past here. We have Don't Let Your Past Hold You Back, South Node. Uh, if you don't know, in your natal chart, the south node is your past and the north node is your future or what you're here to do. And this person has got some, probably some damage from the past. We have the six of cups in reverse. The six of cups is a card of childhood, nostalgia. It can be bittersweet, remembering what the, what you can't get back, right? Like you see the man and the dog and he's thinking about being a boy with a puppy. You can't go back. Sometimes the Six of Cups in reverse is bad memories of the past. Sometimes it's someone with a tough childhood. They may have lost a child. Um, they may have an inner child wound. And bear with me now. I think that this person and you are together for a reason. I did mention that the Six of Cups is a soul tie or a soulmate card showing up with the world. The world is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. You could be dealing with one of those signs. And the Major Arcana, and this is the last card in the Major Arcana, they're ca sometimes called the Fool's Journey. The Fool starts this journey and learns along the way. There are lessons to be learned. I think that this person has been in your life maybe to learn about love or to learn some lessons about healing, to learn about the past. Um, there's unfinished business here with this person, with you. For some of you, like you're not in contact. Actually, for most of you, you're probably not in contact with this person. We've got the lovers here, Gemini energy. Again, it's a soulmate or a soul tie card. It's the sense that there's this really intense connection between the two of you. You feel it, they feel it. And yet we have resistance up here, waxing crescent. I do think love scares them. I do think they've probably had some experiences in the past that have told them not to trust other people. I'm getting that strongly. We have the underworld where all things pause and begin again. 
I see the pomegranate there. This gives me heavy Persephone and Hades vibes, right? You know how she leaves, but then she always comes back to the underworld during the winter. This person's coming back if they've left. And for most of you, this person has left. You know, they had those six pomegranate seeds or whatever it is. They're coming back. We have the justice card, Libra energy, balancing the scales, apologizing. Also, maybe some cosmic justice here or some cosmic truth or universal truth. I get, I do think this person's scared. I do think given their past, they have every reason to be. But we have, you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. We do have a full moon in Virgo coming up. So that may be significant. Also, this person may be a Virgo or their moon specifically is in Virgo. But I do think they struggle with whether or not they're good enough. Maybe for you, maybe just in general, maybe specifically, I think around their parents or something like that. Good enough to be a parent, good enough to raise a child, good enough for you. I don't know, something like that. Page of Wands here is Leo Sag Aries energy. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Represents communication and taking a new path. I think you're going to hear from this person. I think they're coming back around. Let's check out their energy a little bit closer. Okay, Sanj, here's what we have so far in their energy. And again, I'm going to be clarifying this. We've got the moon here, Cancer and Pisces energy, things that are hidden, our fears, our anxieties, um, our shadow selves. It can be memories, secrets. There's a lot that's hidden. I'm sorry about that. The incense is wafting through here. Nine of Swords is contemplation. It's rumination. This person, I think, they've been thinking about you. They've been thinking about the past. Maybe like their purpose, what they need to do here. Maybe they've been thinking a little bit more about the past. We've got the Five of Pentacles in reverse, which is someone coming back in from the cold. It's also someone who maybe feels alone or isolated, who maybe keeps themselves left out in the cold. It's showing up with the Eight of Swords in reverse right above it, which is the self-limiting and self-sabotage card. You can see she's gazing into this mirror and she perceives herself as being tied and bound. This is someone who... I think they feel alone, but I think in many ways they isolate themselves. I think they do things that make them feel lonely. Maybe they act in ways that are, are self-sabotaging. Four of Swords is resting and healing and pulling themselves together. So I do think that there's a bit of a break from you here. I am cheered up by seeing the Three of Pentacles that is conversations, it's collaborations, it's cooperations, someone working with you, probably talking with you. I think for a lot of you, this person doesn't say very much about their past or who they are, or what their feelings are. This person's like an enigma wrapped in a puzzle or <laughs> I don't know what the old saying is. Um, there's definitely layers to this person. The moon is all about things that we would prefer not to deal with. It's Scorpio energy, and it's very much about our darker selves, our shadow selves. Jung talks a lot about the shadow. That was um, His theories were always something I was preoccupied with when I was in counselor training. All right, tell me about Sagittarius's person. That's too many. Tell me about Sagittarius's person. All right. Well, we've got the five of swords here in reverse. Fives are about conflict. You have the five of pentacles here and the five of swords. So there is friction between the two of you. Five of swords can also be like, sometimes it's manipulation. Sometimes it's gaslighting. Sometimes we gaslight ourselves. Um, Sometimes we have cognitive distortions, like one person, 
I, there's one person I couldn't trust. Let's say they were an important person, like a mother or a father. Therefore, maybe I can't trust anyone if they were willing to lie to me. That's the cognitive distortion. It's like taking yourself off to the races here. And I do think this person is prone to do that. You know, they look at a situation and they get the wrong freaking conclusion. We have the Four of Wands showing up and the Justice card. Libra energy again with the Justice card. They want to make things right with you. They want to balance the scales. Uh, maybe even cosmic justice here. Like, I think this person is with you for a reason. The Four of Wands is desiring stability, taking your relationship to the next level. Um, it's sometimes called the engagement party card. It's really a sense of like, they need to fix this. They don't want to be disconnected from you. I know that for sure. I think they do it to themselves. Well, we also have the Knight of Wands here, Leo Sag Aries energy. This is specifically a Sagittarius card. There you are. Showing up there with that Nine of Swords underneath it. They think about you on repeat. I do think that mm, maybe they feel guilty here or sad or disappointed in themselves. I think that you're in their thoughts heavily, and I think that you are also thinking about them. The Knight of Wands is also like someone coming towards you. So it is possible you're dealing with another fire sign that's headed towards you or someone who's taking action. Wands are about taking action. All right, I do think you have a very deep conversation coming, Sagittarius. In the extended, I want to do this person's feelings, their intentions, and some advice for you. Thank you so much for watching. If this resonated, let me know down below. If not, go ahead and check out your other readings. All right, blessed be.